Hi. So today and I are going to be discussing bliss point or satiation point, which is located on pages 43 and 44 of Varian. So some goods involve a satiation point or a bliss point. So this is when there is a best bundle for the consumer, and the closer to the, co the consumer is to that bundle, the better off they are in terms of their own preferences, as shown by the lines directed from the indifference curves to the center, as shown here. Um, so let's assume that this bundle is X star or Y star. So the textbook's example of this is chocolate cake and ice cream, because there is an optimal amount of each that you would like to eat. Eating either, eating either more or less of either would make you worse off. So the choices involving satiation point are incredibly interesting because why would you want to eat or consume any more than you actually want? Um, which becomes a, a large problem in economics where you actually have an option of having more than you might actually want in a certain scenario. If you look at the diagram over here, we should take note that the slopes of the indifference curve tell us a lot about the situation of the consumer. When the consumer's uh, indifference curves have a negative slope, we know that they have extremes of both goods, i.e. too much of both goods or too little of both goods. That occurs in this region per se, noted by the tangent line. Now, if the slope of the indifference curve is positive, we know the consumer has too much of one of the goods, which can occur in this situation. In order for the consumer to move towards the satiation point or the, ide or the ideal bliss point, he must reduce the consumptions of goods he has too much of and augment, augment the consumption of goods he has too little of. As Aaron said before, there's a classic example in a decision between chocolate cake and chocolate ice cream, where if an individual were to eat any less or more than their respective satiation point, they'd be left worse off than if they were to eat at that satiation point. As simple as these two options are, uh, almost any relationship between two complementary goods can be considered in this manner. Although this holds true, we must consider that most often individuals will not purchase or consume too much of a good because they can almost always control how much of a good they, can, of a good they consume. Economics mainly focuses on the choices where an individual has less than they want of most goods. These are much more prevalent and relevant to society and thus are the focus of attention.